Wait, little kitty. Don't drink that. It's not a cold drink, but alcohol. Then have some juice or water, as alcohol can do some silly things to your body. Well, that's a great question. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explain to Kitty the consequences of having alcohol by answering a much needed question. Why alcohol is bad for you? Zoom in! I'm sure many of you must have come across someone who encourages you to have a sip or two of alcohol, stating it as something normal and cool. Well, that's absolutely wrong, as there is nothing cool about drinking alcohol. In fact, it's a very, very dangerous thing, not just for kids, but for adults too. Yes, that's because alcohol is a depressant, meaning it's a kind of drug that slows down the brain. And it is no secret that drinking alcohol can change a person's ability to think, speak and maintain balance while walking and performing other day-to-day -day tasks. And worst of all, it might give a person momentarily happiness and joy, but later the person can start to feel angry, sad or even depressed. But the vital question is, why do we feel out of control after consuming alcohol? Well, that is because once the alcohol enters your stomach, it is absorbed through the lining of your stomach into your bloodstream. From the blood, it goes to the other organs like the liver, where its enzymes break down the alcohol molecule called ethanol into two steps. Firstly, an enzyme called ADH turns alcohol into acetaldehyde, which is toxic. After that, another enzyme called ALDH converts this toxic substance into non-toxic acetate. The purpose of this function is to eliminate the alcohol as much as possible. But alcohol often manages to cheat this process and within 5 minutes enter other organs like the brain. And over there, it speeds up the brain's primary break, neurotransmitter GABA, GABA, and slows down its primary gas neurotransmitter glutamate, reducing the communication between the neurons. This makes the drinker feel relaxed at first and they slowly doze off. And if someone drinks too much at worst, it can restrict the brain activity required for survival. Alcohol also stimulates neurons located in the region that extends from the midbrain to the nucleus accumbens. This stimulus releases a high level of dopamine that gives the consumer some temporary pleasure. Not only that, but alcohol can also cause the neurons to produce endorphins, a chemical that helps us stay calm in response to danger. But this can be a very dangerous state as it can encourage users to take a risk putting their lives in danger. Not only that, Drinking too much alcohol can lead to alcohol poisoning, which can be fatal. And over time, people who overuse alcohol can do severe damage to their bodies. The liver, which removes poison from the blood, is especially at risk. So remember my friends, it can be tempting to try alcohol under peer pressure. Don't believe it if someone says that you are a coward for not drinking because real courage does not lie in falling for such traps but standing for yourself and saying no to such offers. Trivia time! Did you know over time excessive alcohol use can lead to the development of chronic diseases 
and other serious problems? Yes, a person may suffer from high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, liver disease, digestive problems and even cancer. Hope you learned something very important today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Ah, never mind.